What's going on, people? So I'm excited to be back with another video because I'm here in my lovely closet around all my babies that I love so much. Uh, I've been so excited to share this video with you guys. And what better video to start with is fashion trends. Fall, winter fashion trends. This is my season. I don't have nothing against the spring, but I do. This video, we are talking about fa uh, fall trends that I feel like would work great for men and women. Um, so, I don't know if a lot of you guys know uh, that follow me because I definitely know I have uh, new followers, but uh, I wear men's and women's wear. I wanted to talk to you guys today about some fashion trends, but then also I wanted to answer some questions that you guys sent in to me about fashion to give you guys some fashion tips. So, let's jump into it. First trend that I'm gonna talk about, um, that I feel like anybody can do, man, woman, plus size, average size, big breast, like it doesn't matter what your shape size is, this is a trend that you can do, color blocking. Color blocking is the best thing for you to do because if you if it's certain things you're trying to hide, if it's uh, if you're trying to add a little umph, if you wanna wear different colors but don't know how to put them together, find a color I say a color wheel is the perfect thing to teach you how to color block because when we was in school the color wheel was what they gave us to teach us how to know how to put different colors together for collections next cutout tops I'm seeing these things everywhere guys I'm gonna be honest with you Dion Lee makes them for men and women love 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 this fashion trend I would say it's probably next year I'll probably have a few tops by Dion Lee because I just been like some of them has been a little bit feminine to me and I like for my clothes to still look masculine even though it may be women's wear so if you guys are interested in this trend Zay gives this trend a thumbs up because I feel like this just adds a little mm, a little sexy a little androgynous to anybody's outfit so color cut out top I'm here for them. I'm here for them. This is for women. Man, if you guys want to jump on this too, you're more than welcome to do it. Do I do this? No. But corset belts. Women, I feel like this is the perfect thing for you guys, especially if you are plus size and you be saying that you guys want to uh, give yourself a shape. Belts. 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 But not only a belt, a corset belt. Because it has that boning, but then it also has the structure of a corset. And it's going to help you build that shape that you want to. I love this idea. I love when they start creating these. I think the first person to ever create these was Lil Wave. And after Lil Wave did these belts that was corset that kind of came out, of, uh, that kind of gave a peplum uh, bottom, all the world went crazy and everybody fell in love. I love this belt. Unfortunately, I guys, do I feel like that belt is worth it? No, because that belt is almost $1,000. It ain't worth that. And you can find so many other dupes online. My next one is fringe. L let me tell y'all something. When it comes down to me and fringe, I don't know what it is about fringe, but I just feel like it adds a look. Especially if that person really understands how to wear that look and be confident in that look French is a moment that can be worn anytime daytime evening or night and I love that you see it on men I love that you see it on women it's just it's such a great staple piece to have in your closet for anytime when you just like bitch I want to get out here and I want to go out tonight, girl. And I just want, I, I just need for people to be like, bitch, what you going? About French is that it was drawn from the Western area, era. I love the Western culture. I love everything about the cowboy boots, the cowboy hats, all that, like the denim. That's why I love denim because it comes from that Western time. Next one, head to toe denim. This is a trend, guys. I'm like, if you don't like denim, unfortunately, it's not going nowhere. Head to toe denim is going to stay. Like, it's staying. It's like the number one staple piece that most Americans have in their closet. Denim is the number one staple piece that most people in the world have in their closet because it's the most easiest thing to go to and it's the most easiest thing to style. So, I've always been in love with denim on denim. I've always been in love with denim. 
So this is one trend that, guys, every single season will be in my closet. And I think every season should be in your closet. I feel like this is something that you should pull out every season. Because a denim on denim moment, you can never go wrong. I would say the next trend is uh, leather. This is my last one. I feel like leather is essential for anybody's fall, winter wardrobe. I don't care if you like, I don't care if you about not harming animals or anything. Leather. Everyone needs a piece of leather in their closet. Period. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's leather gloves. I don't care if it's a jacket. I don't care if it's a skirt, pair of pants, or some shorts. If you don't put some leather in your closet, then you're going to beef heavy. Because this is something that you need when it get really cold and you still want to be able to wear a look. Everybody should possibly have a leather pair of pants. Everybody should have a leather jacket. Everybody should have something leather in their closet for the winter time. But I think leather pants and a leather jacket will get you through the entire season. But everybody needs leather pieces in their closet. All right, but guys, so that's my fashion trends that I feel like I think you guys should be adding to your closet. You should already have in your closet if you don't. And if you don't have any of your closet, what the fuck you doing? It don't make no sense. But I hope you guys like my fashion picks of what I feel like is great for unisex styling. Um, these are pieces that I feel like no matter what you wear or trends that I feel like, I feel like these are trends no matter what you do, pull from these trends, it's going gonna, it's gonna to look right. Uh, I feel like these are trends that work for both sex. I feel like these are trends that is perfect for their unisex style of dressing of what I promote. Uh, so guys... Please let me know how y'all feel about these trends down below. Please let me know about any other questions you may have about any other trends. And then I can do another video answering those questions. But then also doing those trends too. Let me know if there's any other closet things you guys want to see pertaining to styling or whatever. I'll make sure I get those out to you guys too. Once again, how can we be a blessing to the world if we're not a blessing ourselves? Let's be a blessing, my people.